Good morning everyone, this is Sheila. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm working in my mixed media uh, journal. And I've done, I think I've done like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six videos. So this will be my seventh. And um, I bought this journal on Amazon and I will link it below. And I tore some pages out because <clears throat> with all the goodies that I've used, it's already getting bulky. So I'm going to be working on this page. Um, I've been seeing a few people on Facebook getting into paper dolls. And there's this one lady, Judith McCarthy. Oh my God, she is awesome. Uh, I'm going to try to get some information on her and link it below because you have to see her work. She does these uh, mixed media dolls and things and she uses blocks and material and oh my god she's awesome and i just came across a couple of her pictures on facebook and i asked her where did she get the paper dolls and she there's another lovely artist called louise hensel and she's on facebook and she's also got a youtube and i will try to link her below she has awesome kits and she did up some paper doll kits so um, I went and got some those from her and I also purchased from a couple other people which I, I will try to remember to link below. So this morning I made this little paper doll. And not everything is from uh, Hensel, Louise Hensel's kit. I did take from other things like I printed out some uh, ravens. And that wasn't from any kit. I just found that online. But I mixed up a couple pieces from some other scraps that I had. But I want to add this to my book. But I want to do a background first. And I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it. So it's just going to be a little play. And I'm not really going to think about it. I'm just going to do it. So at first I thought I might do... Where did I put it? I thought I would do some stamping. Where did that come from? I feel like I'm a little rusty doing videos because I haven't been doing a lot of them lately. And it's almost like starting new. <laughs> I don't know if any of you understand how that feels when you do videos a lot and then all of a sudden you have this big gap because of whatever gets in the way and then all of a sudden you start up again it's not that easy so this is like a map of the world stamp I'm just gonna stamp it on the page just to give it some texture in the background I always like to wipe down my stamps after I use them and I've mentioned this before these are the wipes I like to use because they're not really sudsy like some where's those paper towels I usually have paper towels handy to dry it up a little but I don't see it at the moment alright so I'm just gonna lay that aside Okay, I have some white, just some white paint that I got at um, the dollar store. I'm just going to do like, um, let's see, what can I use? Just cardboard. I don't know how much I'm going to use. Let's see. Now, where are they? Of course, when, you know... I start thinking about stuff and I don't have what I'm looking for. Okay, where did it all go? I'm trying to look for an old credit card type thing. Alright. For a scraper. Where did I put them? Hmm. Oh, here they are. I'm just taking an old card, gift card, and I'm just going to... 
use this to scrape. You could use a paintbrush if you want. I'm just going to lay some of this down. Just to meet the background a little. I don't know if I want to get another color. Let's see. What do I have? Oh, this is a pretty color. This will like bring out the background some. Two, two skin, two can. I don't know. Some more white on top of that. Okay. Ooh, let that dry and I didn't hook up. Do I have it? I don't know if this is hooked up now. Yes, it is. My table is a mess. that away um I guess I'll just put this over here for now okay all right so now what do I want to do I think that's dry enough okay so now <clears throat> I brought out this box someone created this for me in a swap and there's a whole bunch of goodies in here, so I'm just going to pick through that. And then I also brought out this box. It's huge. And it's got all kinds of ephemera pieces and things that I collected, so I don't know if I'll pick anything out of there. Alright, so. Let's see. I want my doll, I think, to go in the middle. So, let's see, what do I want to do? I have this piece of, um, material. I don't know if that's gonna... I think that's kind of thick. I have this lovely... Oh, I don't know. I have this lovely little tag. And I have some of these little pieces that also came... In the kit, in one of the kits, could do something like that. Oh yeah, and I got some of this paper. Let's see. Stay there, don't fall. Let's see what else I got in here. I got some gears. I could put some gears. Maybe at the bottom. Just laying out stuff. I just look at that, how cool that is. I wonder if she made that. It's really cool. There's a whole bunch of goodies in here. Look at this home. Oh, look what I just found this homemade paper. Okay, now I'm rethinking. <laughs> oh my god, look at that paper. I think I want to tear some of this off. Let's see. You can tell I didn't really go through that box. This is some string over here. I think I'll cut that. Oh yes, look at that. I think I'm gonna use that and put my doll on that. Oh yes, doesn't that look cool? Oh, the thing's still wet. But you know what I'm gonna do? Where's my... I'm gonna take my brown... 
ink pad and just rub around the edges a little just to okay so I think I'm gonna lay that down that's what my doll's gonna go on it's been really hot here in North Carolina and this week we're gonna have temperatures close to 100 with the heat index in the hundreds in some areas it's crazy I love sitting out on my porch and reading but I won't be doing much of that I think I'm gonna lay this there's some pieces that aren't oops go ahead wreck it I think I'm gonna lay this at the bottom I'm actually gonna break it Yeah, it's going to be really hot. One of the hottest, couple of hottest days that we've had so far. Okay, do I still want to use this tag up here in the corner? No, I know I want to use this. I keep getting paint on me, but that's okay. Just wipe it off. <laughs> uh, I know I want my doll to be last because that's going to be like the focal point. So I'm just going to start laying. Maybe I'll even put a piece of that up there. This piece is down. Now, when I do stuff like this, I really don't think about it. I just go with the flow, as they say. I have a certain idea what I want to do. You know, I grab things and sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. As I'm working, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I got a better idea. I think of something I might have stashed away somewhere. So. All right, I want a f something to go there. Yeah, I just go with it. You know? There's some vintage. Let's see what I've got in here. Someone sent me this pocket with all this luscious goodies. Let's see. There's something in here. Oh, wait. I'm like. Look at all these cool things. Oh, I like this. I love doing swaps. And look at this cute little envelope thing. <laughs> I can even hang something. Ooh, I think I'm going to put that up there. Ooh, I like that. But you know what else I'm going to do? Hmm. I have some of this bandage, this bandage stuff. Let's see. I think I want to put a piece of that down first so do you like to plan out your projects or just go with the flow create as you go I think it depends but I really don't really plan I don't think I really plan too much of anything There is going to be a mix, oops, a real mixed match of items on this page. <laughs> okay, I'm losing my paper doll. I don't want that to get ruined. Okay, so I have this, it's like a button. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that at the bottom somewhere. In the corner though. I have some of this wax paper. So, put that down there. Layer, layer, layer. When I first started crafting with, you know, swaps and things, 
my work was always like one dimensional and it took me years to get comfortable to do like three dimensional and do lots of layering and things like that and I was always intimidated by what others were doing I think I'm gonna st stick that up there and it took me a while to get comfortable and now I don't even really think about it I just create so if you feel intimidated especially if you're just starting out don't let other people's work get to you because you know they were new at one time and it takes years of crafting to get really good at it but I think a lot of people are still learning because I know I am as I go you know okay you know I just saw some buttons here but you know what let me see something let me see how this is going Ooh, I like it I think I'm gonna make her sideways like this make her I don't even know if it's her I think I'm gonna put some buttons on the side here but I think I'm ready to glue her or him down I think I am because I don't want to make the page too crazy so let's see I think I'm gonna make this go sideways And where did you see it? I had some of these buttons. I got these at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just gonna grab some random buttons. Not too big. Not too small. Maybe one more. Cool. Yes, I like that. Now, do I want to put some twine? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Just twine. Alright. Before I glue the buttons down. And take some twine just gonna tie a knot It feels good to be crafting again though because it's been a long time since I felt up to sitting here and creating. I've been dealing with some uh, back pain and sciatica and finally I think they finally got it under control I hope. I just went and got a, I got a couple injections. The first one didn't work. Then they said they were going to do a, a SI joint injection. That's where your hip, near your hip, on the inside. And they said maybe that will help. And I'm telling you, since I got it, which is one of the worst injections I ever got, <laughs> even with Novocaine, even with whatever they put in to numb you, I still felt some of it. And maybe that's because that area is real sensitive. And I've been in so much pain, so it probably hurt more than usual. I don't know, but it's been two days, and that side of my leg actually feels a lot better. Which is crazy. If that's what it's been this whole time, oh my god. Here I am thinking it was my sciatic nerve. I don't know. 
so far it feels a lot better so I'm hoping that's what it was and it lasts for a long time and then I can get back into doing stuff all right all right so now I think what I want to do is put some of this stuff down on each side I love this bandage stuff. I mean, it's almost like the cheesecloth, but I actually get this for free, so I always order it <laughs> all the time because I get it for nothing, so might as well take advantage. Buttons are so fun because doesn't matter what project you're doing they always work I love because it's a great added touch okay, oops okay let me look at it am I done you know what else I want to do just one more thing if I can I'm looking for, oh, excuse me, some like gems. Let's see, what do I have for colors? I really need to try to find some like brown gems at the store. I don't even know if they have brown. That's what I wish I could find in my box over here. I don't got one. I've got these. These are almost like a rose, oh, like a rose gold, and they're not as big as I was hoping. But I think I'm just gonna. Is that gonna work? No, those aren't gonna work. Those aren't going to work. I don't know if I want to use those. Can I take this off the bed? Oh yeah. Okay, I got an idea. Just randomly, like one there, maybe one there, one there, one there, one there. Just randomly taking these little dots. I think I'm gonna be done after this. Come on. My finger is fully yucky glue and stuff. Oh my goodness. What was that? I don't know what was that, but whoo! I jumped. I don't know if you heard that. Something slid down on the shelf. I don't know if it was my cat or not, but made me jump. I think I'm gonna put one more right there. Made me jump out of my skin. Especially when you're in the house all by yourself. My oldest son who was staying with us, he went back to Massachusetts for six weeks to visit his father who's not feeling well. And they're spending some quality time. Alright, I think this is my finished project. I still feel like I'm, I don't know, like this area here. What can I put there? I don't know. Do I have? I don't know. It just feels. I know what I could do. It just feels kind of blank. There. Let me see. What is that? Wow, this is cool. Oh, and that's Octo. Look at that. It's like a bookmark. I just found that in there. I should leave that out. I really do need to go through this whole box. Oh, here's a ticket. Oh, you know what? Ha ha ha. I'm going to put this ticket here in this little thing. Oh, yeah, I think I like that. And I might even put a button 
there. I don't know, it just looked kind of like empty there. Hello, hello. Getting a little piece of wax paper. And then maybe I'll just put one of those gem things. All right. Okay. Now I'm done. <laughs> All right. So here's my page. What do you think? That was fun. Thank you all for watching. I will have all the information about where you can get some of these doll, uh, paper doll kits. Plus, um, I want to find out some more information about um, that lady, Judith. What did I say? Judith McCarthy. She's so wonderful. And then again, Louise Hensel. She also has these kits, and she also has an awesome channel to watch. Um... She does a lot of mixed media pages and things. And um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. If you like this video, please hit the like button. That lets me know you like these videos. And hopefully I'll be starting to feel a lot better and get some more videos out there for you. Um, as always, you have a wonderful day. And please share my video if you like. And I will also link below my a couple of my Facebook groups if you want to join. If you don't, that's fine. But I share all my work there. And you can share all your work and your sale items, whatever you like. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. You all have a wonderful day.